Hello all, welcome to the YouTube lecture. I'm Shrikant Sharkul. In this session, we'll be understanding how to write a very low code for SR flip-flop and JK flip-flop. So JK flip-flop code is uh, in front of you. Module JK flip-flop. So we have uh, two inputs, J and K and a clock input. Then we have uh, two outputs, Q and Q bar. And how to write a code for JK flip-flop? We'll just do it on paper and uh, we'll understand in a better way. We'll look into the code of JK flip-flop. So how to write a very low code of uh, for JK flip-flop using if else statement. So module JK flip-flop, you can give any name. So I have the inputs J comma K clock and outputs Q and QB. So mention the inputs. Inputs are J, J, small j, K and clock. All these are single bit. Outputs are Q and Q bar or QB. I'll be using uh, Q and QB inside always, hence I should declare it as registers. Now, always, always at, it's a flip-flop, pause at job, clock, begin. I'll be having multiple statements. I'm beginning it. If if negation of j logical and ended with negation of k if j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 your q should retain its previous value else if else if i'll be checking the next condition if j is equal to 0 that is negation 0 and k k is equal to 1 0 1 q should be allotted with 0 else if else if now j is 1 k is negated means k is equal to 0 q is negation uh, uh, q is uh, 1 bit 1 else the last condition you can write it or else you can you can just ignore it because uh, the other uh, only condition that is left is j is equal to n k is equal to 1 that will be covered with just writing else q is assigned with the inverted version of its previous value which is nothing but toggling so this completes if else statement I have not used used begin keyword so hence no need to use end keyword so i am outside the if else statement now outside what i do is i write qb is equal to i assign qb is equal to inverted version of q so whenever q value is assigned qb will be its inverted form now i am ending the always um, always block and end module so this is the code for jk flip flop so here is a <coughs> JK flip flop, the same code that we worked in on a paper. Three inputs, two outputs, declared as registers, all these uh, have been noted. So here you should not confuse. If and else statement does not have begin and end. So we have end for only always block. This Q bar equal to negation of Q is outside the if else statement. It is not inside, it's outside the if else statement. Before the um, you know termination of the always block, we will be having this. We'll take the same code to the Xilinx environment and we will check the simulations of it. So this is the Xilinx environment. I have already taken a JK flip-flop code. Already it is written, same code. Let me synthesize it. So uh, if uh, J and K are zero, the previous value should be retained as it is on the output. If J and K value is 1 and 1, then Q should be uh, toggled. 
toggled and ultimately only one time I am assigning Q bar is equal to negation of Q. So this is one more way of writing the code. Every in every rather than writing in every line that Q bar, Q bar is uh, negation of Q. It's better if you write only once at the end of uh, the if else statement after the completion of the if else statements. That would be uh, better. So here uh, we are running the simulations. So JK flip-flop is one of the very useful uh, flip-flop because of its uh, toggle case. Uh, we normally uh, use it for design of counters and all. So let me assign the clock. Clock is uh, um, leading at 0, 1. Let me choose it as 100 nanoseconds. And then uh, I'll give some value. J is equal to, uh, let me force it as uh, 1. So, okay. K, I'll force it as 0. J is equal to 1. K is equal to 0. In this case, uh, Q should be set to 1. So, let me check it. So, when Q is set to 1, when J and K are uh, 1, 0, Q is set to 1. Now, we'll check the toggling case directly. I'll make K as 1. So, once I make Q, K as 1, it should toggle. So it's toggling. Q and Q bar are toggling. This is the working of the JK flip-flop. Now uh, let me close the simulation. We'll quickly glance through the code of SR flip-flop, which is much similar. Only uh, one parameter is uh, uh, changed there. So here in the SR flip-flop, uh, S and R in place of J and K are the inputs. Outputs are Q and Q bar declared as the resistors. If S and R are both 0, retaining the previous state. If S is equal to 0, R is equal to 1. Q is equal to 0, similar uh, similar to your JK flip-flop. S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0, Q is equal to 1. Again, same as JK flip-flop. Else, this is very important. When S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 1, Q is unknown. This is this is forbidden state or undefined state of SR flip-flop because of which we normally prefer JK flip-flop. And Q bar is outside the FL statement. It has been inverted version of Q. The same code will just uh, take into the Zellings environment and we'll check how it works. Only one case we are supposed to check because everything is already tested in JK flip-flop. The unknown statement. So unknown statement, we'll check it in the JK flip-flop. So this is SR flip-flop. I'll just save it, save it, and I synthesize it. So, so this unknown, some some people uh, prefer to use high impedance state as Z. It does not make any any difference, unknown or or high impedance state. So we we don't uh, normally this is called as a forbidden state. Will not be having a valid logic output there. So we'll just have a simulation. So before running the simulation. Just cross check whether the previous simulator simulations are closed. So it's running. So I'm running uh, in the same platform all the codes. So that's why you, you may observe certain warnings. Please ignore it. Does not make any, it is not related to your design block. So clock. Cons um, not constant for clock always you should floors a clock itself leading 0 1 100 nanoseconds and then yes is uh, yes is let me just take one more one uh, one value before we go for the forbidden state constant I give it as 1 and I run it zoom to fit Minimize it. You can see that Q is 0 and Q bar is 1. So once I make S is also as 1, let me check what happens. It should be unknown. That is how we have it in the code. And you can see that it is it is unknown. So this is how the SR flip-flop works. And uh, we saw JK flip-flop and SR flip-flop working in this session. In the sessions to come next, we'll uh, solve, uh, write some Verilog code for counters. See you in the next video. Thank you.